Or he's selling himself. He's not making women to bear his children. He's making women to kill them. Lisa, I want you to burn this place and any evidence it ever existed to the ground. Destroy the Murkoff Corporation. Bury it in shame. Take away its money. Wipe it from history. This man thinks he's in love. He thinks the therapy made him better. Everything reeks of death and fear. Piss and coppery blood meat decomposing the game. Jesus. My guy's turning into a poet. Did I get a save? I really hope I got a save. Because if I spawn back there, am I really still getting chased? I better not be getting chased still. I'm sorry guys. I, I don't want to be sounding negative or anything. It's just... This game is... Yeah. I swear if he shows up again... Please give me a save. Please give me. Thank you. I hate you, dude. I hate you so much. One more. I try and I try. You all betray me. I love that I never try to fight back. You can hang like the rest of them. Wonderful. I'm guessing we have to do more editing here. I'm just saying, keep trying to look down. Heavier than you look. If this is you on the honeymoon, I hate to imagine the anniversary. This is so bad. Dude, stop looking at the naked people. Come on. Oh, nice, the raptor. Hold still. God damn it, what are you? Oh, you're kidding, right? Darling. Yep, yep, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Wait, what? What? H how about you turn around so I know what's going on? What? Been beautiful. I'm, I'm okay with this. He just got scared. Whoa. Okay. I'm so happy with this outcome. I can't look away. There we go. Am I supposed to look at him with the camera now? Yep, I knew it. He's dead. The amateur surgeon. Father to be. Husband. His guts shredded and pulled from his belly. I'm trying not to laugh. Oh god, Lisa, I swear to you, I'm trying. Oh yeah, my guy's losing his mind. Always the part that's the most fun. Jesus, that is crazy. I think I might keep the camera down for a lot of it. I don't know. Like, it looks so bad when you've got the camera up. Like, it's so bad. And it looks so much nicer like this. You don't get the notes if you have the camera down, but I'll just try to... Actually, maybe this looks like something's gonna happen. I'll try to have the camera up at times where... It it seems like uh, I'd get a note. I don't want to miss any notes. That's why I constantly keep the camera up. But, I don't know. I'd ask you guys, but by the time... My intention right now is to finish the entire game today. So by the time the first video goes up, by the time you hear the question, it'd be over. Whoa. Awesome. Dude, that's really cool. A chapel on fire in the distance. I didn't even know we had a church. Where's God when you need him? God can't help you now. Uh, eyelash in my eye. Oh well. I will absorb it into my eye. I will grow immune to eyelashes in my eyes. They will make me stronger. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! I've seen more than enough dick and balls tonight to last me a lifetime. 
not all of them attached to a man. Let's wrap this up and get back to the ship. Amen. Hey guys, uh... Wait, did they shoot him? Dude! Guys? Guys. Guys? Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh my god. You realize what's happening right now, right? Do you guys understand what this is? If Traeger is dead, right next to this elevator that clearly stopped part, way, part ways through, that means we are literally in the same timetable as Outlast. I suspected it at times, but we are in the same timetable. Us? Oh god. <laughs> Kill anything that moves. Yeah, if this is the case, us from Outlast 1? Out Outlast original? is here now. We might run... Uh, I don't know. We might see us. I don't think we'll run into us because we never noticed a part where it seemed to be us running into us. You know what I mean. But wow, this is interesting. Let's see what happens. Corporate cops, mercenaries, private military contractors, whatever they call them now, they're as helpless as the rest of us. Need to get out. Escape. Wait, what? I guess I... okay. Yeah, I just read a note after picking up the journal entry. I guess I got a note before and just didn't realize it. I was surprised I didn't get a note from looking at the soldiers. From Helen Grinot. Subject Rudolf Wernicke. Phase out. Dear sirs, the groundwork has been laid to ensure an eventful egress for Rudolf Wernicke from structural and financial systems at Mount Massive. His advanced age should alleviate any suspicions among contractors and employees, among whom he has been cheerfully nicknamed the Crypt Keeper. And legally speaking, he died years ago. What? I understand patients 14306-8, 14279-1, and 14868-1 have already been scheduled for transit. We're all terribly excited with the obvious profit potential of the new project, wow. My researchers have combed through Wernicke's files and found no mention of the three lucid dreamers. I think we can safely assume Wernicke has, was sub sufficiently distracted by the partial success of patient Billy Hope, along with his own infirmity, to be ignorant of the real discovery at hand. Even minimal exploitation of these resources is hard to overestimate. I only hope the new facility is sufficiently shielded to allow female staff, so I can see what comes with my own eyes. Respectfully, Helen Grenat, Murkoff Legal Mitigation Department. Interesting. I feel like uh, we're probably nearing the end of the DLC. I don't know for sure, but let's see. What is our? Uh, I don't know. Isn't there like some button I can press? There it is. Okay, so it's tab. Objective: find the key to access the mail ward. All right, so. Our objective isn't simply to escape yet. Oh man. This is way too dark for me to try and uh, move around without this on. Look at this, literally pitch black. Except for the random uh, texture spazzing. It's a bit too quiet. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Guys. Guys. Oh no. Okay. Wait. Oh!
This is bad. Seems like someone's right on top of me. But I was gonna say, I was starting to freak out because we're able to get into the area where uh, Traeger is, and Traeger... Maybe I'm crazy, maybe I'm remembering it wrong, but I feel like Traeger uh, is practically immortal. Not like actually practically immortal, but I wouldn't be surprised if he's still alive. Alright, maybe, maybe they just came up and uh, shine the flashlight down here from over there. I don't know, we're gonna find out. Alright, you guys ready for this? Is he dead? Is he actually dead? I think he is actually dead. Nice! Yep, I can walk on him. That's what I'm talking about. Too bad I couldn't walk on the other guy. Oh, wow, okay, just textures freaking out again. Or rather, maybe it's the lighting that's freaking out. Is this the end? No, it's not the end. I still have to find a key. Oh, okay, it's because we can see the burning church again. Nice. I love fire. a door, but... Okay. Okay. Yeah, I love how uh, I went so long without getting killed, and, like, I even mentioned how, like, I hadn't been killed yet and stuff, and it was, like, right after that that we got to that part where it was just him teleporting all over the place or something. I don't even know. All I know is with my broken legs, that was an extremely difficult part. Okay, either these are just lights, or there's multiple fires, I don't know. Can't really tell. Oh well. So what do you guys think of this DLC? I know there's still more- Whoa, guys, wait a second. Oh my god, am I really where I think I am? Remember the beginning of Outlast? I think this is one of those rooms. I think I'm about to get into the main lobby. Wait, why am I- I'm so confused right now. What? Am I forgetting something? Why is my leg working? I mean, I'm not complaining, but... My leg was in really, really bad shape before, like, I got hung from the rafters. And then when I was hung from the rafters, like, I fell and hit.